um, like I said, I don't know, Shane, if, if, I don't know if you've met everybody. I think you probably have our last board meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did our Dutch you already, but if you need to, we can continue to test. Um, what you have in front of you is the budget for 2014 that the uh, County Extension Board uh, put together there in April and uh, have worked on. Um, so you take a look at it. Have any questions? Figures, but what has this compared to last year? There is about a ten thousand dollar increase um, for over last year. We have not had an increase in our budget since 2011. We we're looking back in 09. We actually from 09 to 010 we went down about eight thousand dollars. Then when, from 010 to 011 we did increase about four thousand dollars. Not quite four thousand dollars. And then like I say we've been steady since 011. When I went to your meeting, you were saying your increase is basically cut. I mean, the salary was increased. So um, these, a little, there was like $2,000 in the salary line item. The biggest issue was there was employee benefits because of the um, benefits coming from the state and also with the board with uh, getting a new employee. We have not had insurance before on, that empo on our employee and we thought it might help. And so they are going to put a little bit of money into a stipend for benefits. And so there's a little bit of money, an increase in the employee benefits part. Um, we also did have an increase in the educational program. We've been doing a lot more programs in, the, in our office uh, for school kids and also uh, our adults and educational programs. So there is an increase there. And, um, and that was probably one of the other biggest ones. And like I said, just an example, in 09, the county appropriation was 132800 In 010, we dropped down to 124800 And then 011, it went up to 125 And it's been at 125 up until, um, like I said, up until 2013. And then, like I said, asking for that increase this year. Also, we did have an increase in the equipment. Um, our vehicle, they, the board, like I say, done some future planning, knowing that um, the last vehicle we had, we, there really was never money put away to replace it. So when it was time to replace it, we just, well, it, we grew it a lot longer than it really should have been because it started nickel and dying us. And so with this vehicle and the board body at No. 9, felt like they needed to put a plan together for replacement. Right now it's uh, four years old. And so that's why we did increase line item a little bit there too to put a little more in the capital outlay to help be able to replace that instead of letting it go too long when there's no trade in value and then also putting a lot of expenses back into it. So the county appropriation that you're asking for would be this? 138,700. You might say it an increase from 128,500 last year. So. And I think the biggest increase is in the employee benefits. I will be taking insurance out this year. Yeah. And that's one thing too, before Amy had not been on our insurance because of her family, but now they're having to switch. And so we're going back on the insurance of the witness and uh, that also. I'm going to say you're aware of employment that you're doing with everybody. As much as I'd like to say it's all in salaries, the minimal amount is for that. <laughs> like I said, the board did just increase the salary item two thousand dollars. That's how that increase only two thousand dollars was in it. Your, your insurance is is that within your own program? That's not within the county. No, it's not county. So it's within your own program. And that's and that's one of the problems we've had with our secretary over the years is that she's not a even though we consider she works for the county, but she's not really a county employee. She's an extension council employee, so she can't fall under your benefits. Now, there are some counties, I don't know how they've done it, have made it work where they've got them underneath it, 
but not everyone works the same. I mean, it's kind of a probably cheap enough if you can get in the larger group. Probably. Well, like I say, we've never had insurance before, so I don't know. I mean, it's going to be an increase because of, but just because of adding it. Is there any way you know, we could get that in the county? Yeah, so you remember that. they told you last week they're their own mm -hmm. entity and they don't follow under our budget. Yeah, because we've, we've had me to look before, I think. Because yeah. yeah. uh, when BJ was here, I mean, they looked at it, and, and that was even before my time. I mean, they looked at it. And, and some count, like I said, I don't know how some counties do it. I know Gray County said that they have to write a letter to their clerk and the commissioners and to the insurance company, and, and then they bill them back for it, and it's just a strange. So I don't know, but it's just that's how they do that. Some of them do, but most of most of counties, like say, have minimal insurance on people, like say, because they don't fall underneath the county insurance policy. Okay. And I've given Nita the official one for you to sign uh, whenever that time comes, and also there's a procreation uh, certificate of filing and a certificate of proper functioning there that you don't have to stamp, of course. We will include this in the file. <laughs> <laughs> and once the file is full, we'll send it to the other. <laughs> once the file is full. <laughs> Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. And I wanted to mention John McClure came in. He's also a board member, so he stepped in as well. So thank you for your time. And I'm sorry I didn't recognize you because we sat across one night at the extension dinner. So. <laughs> <laughs> I see it way too often. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just don't want to go on the back of this car. Uh, Jay, Jim Johnson is scheduled today, so he'll be here on the 26th, which is a week after my deadline, but his, his request is the same as last year's. So go ahead. Yeah, let's do that. Make a motion to approve the minutes from last year. The motion's been made to approve the minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 I'll put the same sign. Motion carried. Darren, we just want to get you. Good morning. Good morning. Get me. Get your rock and roll. <laughs> okay. I'm here to present my 2015 budget. surprises in here? Uh, no. The uh, increase in the uh, salaries is due to you know, due, the increase in recycling and all the work. And, you know, it's for the use of the county truck and labor and technical. Eighty-seven thousand to budget one hundred and twenty. 
Well, the uh, no, it's not supposed to go. I checked them three days ago. Uh, usually, we have an annual meeting and, and I'll let you know ahead of time. That's that amount is what we've always done. I, it's it's a So to haul the tires away, is it what is it? Five dollars per tire? No, it's depending on the size. Uh, it's a dollar for the car tire or whatever. Okay. Know they have rims. If they have rims in, it's a five dollar tire. Okay. One dollar tire. Well, I had it was a five dollar something. They don't manufacture anything out of it. Um, Not like Champlin does in, no. in Concordia. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Seven and oh nine. We're consistent. Then. We had a two dollar and ten jumps in, the, in between the weight. Yeah. Fifty two and uh, Being, they thought Texas was about to hit 
you know, I served when I serviced that thing. They had a pretty dirty air cleaner, and they said, oh, man, when things get really dirty, you cause some back pressure. Mm -hmm. Just blow them by, and, mm -hmm. and uh, only issue I've got now. But, I mean, just it's get down that much. Uh, I've got a drain plug leaking, and I bought one yesterday for two bucks. So we're just going to go and see what it is. Okay. It's kind of fixing itself. It's a little bit of a good job. That's good. All right. Well, that's yeah, something that works out there. I was wondering if I could uh, have an executive session for 10 minutes. Okay. So what? Uh, to uh, discuss not like it. So if we go into the second session for 10 minutes to discuss now like personnel, Baron, Nathan, and Commissioner, second that. It's been moved and seconded that we go into executive session for 10 minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say sign. Motion carry. I was actually going to kind of uh, highlight uh, kind of our operation and kind of the, the job description design in, in general, but uh, I know that that's probably what got me kind of uh, uh, overloaded at times and, uh, and, and why this hasn't, hasn't been able to rise to the top in, at times also, and so I, I don't want to do that, but I like, would, would like to come back and kind of explain our overall operation and kind of the, the design of the director's position in general. Uh, I, I think it's I think it's unique to the state of Kansas. I don't think there's anybody else that's probably running one exactly like what we're doing. And I think it's while, while it's probably the uh, most bang for your dollar that you could get, it, it also opens you up to a, a lot of uh, flaws. And and you're not going to get everything done, not even close. But with with that being said. Uh, the billing really need to kind of go back to the work when I did get here we, we had kind of a mess going on as far as uh, some of the funds Lisa helped me tremendously with that um, we were um, we had funds we had memorial funds and, and, and actually you guys I think had some questions even about that that I can answer here, here after this uh, I, I cleaned them up I said I want no memorial funds and, and I know that people like to donate money into things like that, but it gets out of hand. And then you can kind of start having people kind of redirecting funds for, for activities and such, and it, it becomes a little dicey, and I just don't like going there. It just, it, it, it's easier not to deal with it at all. So we, we start channeling everything to, to Lisa, and, uh, and at that time they even changed the address, and it, and it messed up. We, we couldn't even collect our Medicare for like six, eight months, nine months. We were sitting idle. Uh, a lot of it was being done by hand, hand stuff, and so being able to even run a report or anything was just like almost impossible. And but but last week, uh, it, uh, up and leading up to last week's meeting, uh, we've been dealing with that snow removal constantly. Six o'clock last night, I got another call from them that we had to reconvene everybody for another five-minute session, another signature session, and Nick will be heading out to do that here shortly. And we've got to get them in tomorrow. And they're going to be really, really happy with us. But, uh, you know, there's 10, 12 of those guys, and we spent 10, 12 times as much time on it as what they have. Uh, and it almost gets you to a point where you say, you know, it's the 35,000 even worth it. But I, I think it still is. So, especially after we put so much time into it now, this one is. But I don't know about the future. If it isn't very much, I don't know if, if we even mess with it. Uh, but with that, with that being said, uh, I wasn't well prepared last week I, uh, because uh, Julie had some information. She had this information right here last week, and she didn't get completely into that information. And I'm going to share that information with you this morning uh, with the caveat, the warning that I don't know even how accurate it is. And that's the problem, is we were doing hard copy, we were doing... And we're mixing hard copy, we're mixing, we're mixing all kinds of things. This is just the electronic data that she had. And so with that 
being said, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of finish up what, and, and I want to say this, and uh, that uh, I thought maybe Todd was here because I, Julia's done an exceptional job. She really, really has. And uh, I don't know what the future for Stafford County Hospital is, and that's a completely different matter. But as far as uh, them helping us with billing, it's it's going to be a godsend as long as they can maintain their other operations. So uh, with that, this this is is the electronic, and, and as I said, don't uh, don't look at that and say that well, well my lord it was horrible before Steve arrived. Uh, that's what it portrays. It does portray that. It was. Uh, but that's all the electronic stuff that she has. I actually think it's 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 lower than what, what it was. But that's what they that's what the electronic data that we have on file. Instead of spending a dark engine amount of time trying to go into paper records, that's what we collected in a thirteen year period before my arrival. Okay. This is and then again this is Julie's report, not mine. To his report. This is what we've collected in the five years since I've been here. And um, have not, well, four years. I've only been here four years. So one year was prior to my arrival. Uh, that one year we collected virtually nothing as far as Medicare. What we did, uh, I had to go back and get it. it. It was on hold because of our address change and a bunch of different. Uh, Medicare rules that you had to get reinstated, and uh, they had they had a huge check for us uh, that we collected about three or four months after I arrived, after we got everything straight back out again. So that kind of shows you what our collection rate has been. It's it's actually been very very good, and there's a combination of reasons why. Uh, I I do believe that, that Misty's done a great job. Uh, where the problem lies is collecting the old debts. It's, it's, we never had a policy. <coughs> have a policy you know, to present this morning. Uh, a policy of, of a, a standard procedure of steps to go through. That there will always be that giant turtle pile. Always be that. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the set-off program. Eventually, the turd pile will be the set-off program. Not something that I have to come to you to say, well, we need to write these off because it's, it's impossible to collect them. We'll have a standard procedure from here on out. The auditors did not, they canceled last week after we thought they were showing up. They're actually showing up at 10 o'clock. So we'll hit, they're not the auditors, the, um, the collection agents. 10 o'clock this morning, unless they cancel. <coughs> Um, but the bills, the bills will go after after 90 days. They're going to go to the collectors. Once they go to the collectors, after a year, they look at them. They say, after a year, we can't get them away. We're not spending no more time on them. Then they'll go to set off, and that will be your giant set pile of stuff that you couldn't get. <coughs> but you guys won't be, uh, you know. We won't have this monstrous pile that every once in a while I come to you and I say, okay, these are just bad. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and it becomes so big that, you know, then, then you don't even know where, where you, it becomes almost unmanageable. So, um, that, that's kind of to explain that. But do you have any questions on, on herds? It, it, it looks like, and, and I could have came in here this morning and said, Look how great I am. I honestly don't believe the really, really low 13 year period is accurate. I think there's a lot of hard copy data. But I can tell you one thing they weren't collecting anywhere close to what we're collecting today. And part of the reason, another part of the reason why that is, is because right here and right there, the paramedics, we can collect a lot more. And right there, the paramedics. We, we go over to Pratt, we go over to Great Bend. When they call and they want another, they want us, first thing I ask them, does the patient have insurance? We're not taking your patient unless they have insurance. Um, the only time we did that I, that I didn't go with that rule is uh, one of the patient's uh, child lived here in 
in Stafford County. They called me and special and asked if, if we would go get. Uh, and, and actually, that was a staffing issue more so than a, than a billing issue. Uh, but um, we went ahead and went, and, and I didn't have clarification, but we still got paid. So that's um, our, our collections are, are very, very good for uh, our operation of what we do. Um, I want to show you on kind of the shirt bills of that. I, I put together this form, and after I did. Uh, it showed my ignorance again of, of really even uh, I should have met with well I did send this to you you didn't give me good feedback just until this morning until this morning these, these four boxes I asked her to do this because I just came up with a form of somehow to, to report to you guys uh, on a regular basis um, uh, these four boxes took quite a bit of time to tabulate and, and really the, the two bottom ones that I grade they don't even count because those we're talking after 90 days are going to go over to the collections. And then Misty pointed out to me this morning that some of these, even though they, you know, again, it gets into our software system. Our software system is, is kind of uh, generic stuff. It's not, it's not uh, the high uh, dollar stuff. So we can't differentiate whether they're making payments or whether they're sitting 30 to 60 days with no payment. What software program do you have? Is it QuickBooks? Quick, quick quick but, it's, but it's not specific medical mm -hmm. related stuff. But what, what I'm thinking is that for, for your guys' purpose, if I was a commissioner, what I'd want to know is I want to know what you processed, I want to know what you collected, or yeah, what you, how many bills you sent out, how much, how much that was, and this is on that left hand side, how many bills you collected on, and how, how much money you collected. And then I would want to know these down here, and we'll get that once we get into the, the new um, policy. That this is how many bills got turned over to collection because we just couldn't get our money. And these are how many that, that's really going into a, a very, it's almost like a lottery pool. You, you sure hope you, you win a couple of bucks off of it, but it's probably unlikely when it gets into that set off program. Um, so this is just for the month of May then? or? And as you can see, and, and that's where I wanted to kind of sing the, the accolades of Julie. She's helped us a lot. We collected $24,890 in the month of May. And we built out 15000 So you can see that we, we collected a lot on them debts that were you know, outstanding. But your numbers, if this is the month of May, beginning month of May, then your, 30s, your 30 to 60, 90, 60 to 90, and 90 to 100 aren't even close to accurate then. If, this is what you're, you've got an upper bounce of 226,000. Yeah, what, where, where would the rest of them be? I mean, Misty. That was a report that we I just went back. But where would, the, where would the rest of the 226,000 be if you're looking at these right here? I mean, because they still should be on your account's aging. Over so where would these, where would them be? Over a year, they're over a year. They should still be there somewhere. Yeah. Whether they're over a year. Oh yeah, we yeah we don't have. They'd all be. Well, now they're not over a year because it because it, most of these are. Well, they, they could be. They could be one to, to four. Yeah, they could still be set one to four. So is that just for this year, from January one of thirteen till? May 13th then? No, this, this one's just for the month of May, correct, Misty? This, this over here. But this over here. Where, did this, where did this information come from? Where are yeah, these? Where did these come from? For the year? Okay. But then you shouldn't have anything until what, the fifth month? Yeah. So to go on that, this is. This is actually the, this is May again. So, um, in May, oh, sorry. And as you can see, I've blacked out, and, I, and I'll make reference to that here in a moment. That's where the patient's name is. And I, and I need to explain a little bit about that. Um, this is the simplification of the HIPAA rule. Only made one. Um, it's so simplified I couldn't understand it, so we called the State Board of EMS. You, you don't want to go there. You don't want to look at the names. That's what they advised us. Yeah. Don't look at the names. It, it, it gets you in deep trouble. 
uh, for example, a violation. It's just uh, it's a dicey road to take. So these this breaks down the uh, and we could provide these on a monthly basis if you wanted, or we can provide just that data right there along with this data. So th this stuff I think is is, is almost. Uh, it, it takes a long time uh, with our software system to even tabulate. It's almost by hand. Well, it is by hand, right? Yeah. So it's so it's difficult to even grab this information here. This really tells the snapshot of how we're doing on a monthly basis. And this and, and this tells us, you know, kind of our uh, how how things are going as far as collections. I can tell you that you know, percentage wise. It's getting worse because more, less people have insurance all the time, and trying to collect from them, especially when you take them to Wichita or something, they're they're bankrupt by the time they go to Wichita and, and don't have insurance. And Wichita's fast, you know. They man, they they have a bill. I think they practically produce a bill before they even hit the door. Um, so, um, but I think this information. Is right here is really uh, needed. If you want us to break it down in this right here, we could do that. Um, I, I don't know how helpful it would be in, in detail to, to show you that it's a $50, $780. The only thing that would be of, of, of importance, but it's a one-time snapshot, but that's why you're seeing a $1,480 bill. And the great thing is they can recognize that. And so they, they reimburse pretty decent. Um, for her medicine transfer. I guess I don't not particularly want to see every transaction you make, but what I would like to see is a list of your current 30, 60, you know, a typical AR statement, I guess, is what I'd like to see. I don't, I don't need to know every transaction you've done since 2009. I mean, I, I don't care to see that. But, I mean, just something to manage off of totals, I guess, for the month, and what you, and then you know, have a summary of what you what you've collected out of that, or even, what you, for program or even what you've collected on a. This is well, the hospital gives us to us every month. Yeah, have you, have you seen what the hospital gives us? I mean, they get mean, pretty yeah. creative even with a part. Sure. This one we have, and that's what we have built out. Okay, I maybe don't that's know if this is what you're that. talking about. That that breaks down. This is even more detailed than I mean. I, well, in the back of it. But this is May for yeah. This is May collections. What would it, it would show yeah. you? Yeah, which which. But, but, but I mean, if you have if you have like um, like this, and this this list is this column is your thirty to current to thirty. This is sixty to ninety and one twenty then a year plus, and then your totals here, and then another summary sheet of what the totals were that you collected. Bas basically, a, just need to be the a profit. A, a PR, a profit loss report, basically, is what the next sheet would show us you what you brought in. Yeah, the hospital gets you that? Yeah. Yeah, they get gives, Julie get, like, yeah, ask them what she yeah, gives yeah. you. Uh, I, mean, I don't, I don't want to yeah. get, I, I, I don't want to micromanage when we can look at two pieces of paper and see what, you, what, what your whole deal is for sure. the whole year plus five years. Even. That's Julie. Uh, I mean, that, yeah. That Oh, yeah, and it's they even break it out to a pie chart. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool, really. It's real easy to, to follow. Yeah, and it and it just is a simple AR statement, basically, not a you got a copy. You know, individual. Oh, well, we can certainly get with with trend of every oh, transaction. Right up, we can see. Oh, we, yeah. we started a little early time. <laughs> we, we were actually uh, we were actually talking about the uh, the statement that um, that you guys provide. Accounts okay, receivable statement. Mm -hmm. is, is that done on QuickBooks or is it done? Mm, it's <laughs> our system that we have. Um, it's not. It's not a. It's not QuickBooks. Though. No, it's not QuickBooks. Um, but I mean, QuickBooks is capable of, ge of generating a profit or a AR statement and a profit loss for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I play with the software. Yeah. Just with it and try to get it Probably out. can. And it's going to take you some space. time to do that. But yeah. I mean, we don't need this much mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. information, <laughs> and you don't need to waste that much time to generate that for us. I mean, in that way, you don't have to blank out the patients. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's what that, what that accounts receivable statement would eliminate because it's 
basically your transactions for the totals for the month. Mm -hmm. There's just that one sheet on A and R aging. Yeah. I think that's what part of our computer system, which I think you can make quick looks or something else from there, what, yeah. what they do. Nothing else we can we can get with maybe even our auditors that uh, would have a better understanding of QuickBooks that maybe yeah. you could go up. I, I think QuickBooks on the aging reports you're still going to get that whole list, but you could just print the last page because that will have all the totals on it maybe. But you'll have to work with it, and the auditors could probably help you figure that out. Or even if you generate your own spreadsheet, so just one of the numbers word off of, off QuickBooks. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, policy. Really kind of a, just a simple thing that the medic would, the medic would acquire, we want to reiterate to them because that's where it all starts. If they don't get us good data, it, it, it just messes everything up. That's where the relationship with the hospital is proven incredible because they usually uncover it but it hasn't been you know in the past it hasn't been given back to us because they might uncover it you know during their research of finding out why the bill didn't get paid and then they finally discover it and that's where we take most of our patients and so um, that but it all starts with our medic they have to at least get the proper information to get it and get it either copied or if they write it down they got to get it written down correctly so um, they, they leave it at the stations, and, and then I pick them up immediately afterwards the next day. Um, and then it gets brought into MISTI, and then uh, then it's, then it's going to go out. But uh, we wanted, wanted to go ahead and define the 90 days. It's going to be if we don't receive payment, then it's going to be turned over to the collection agency. And then uh, after one year with that collection agency, it's going to go to the Kansas set -off. So there won't be... Uh, pile of unpaid that we'll come to you again with um, because they'll automatically go to the set-off program. Well, they'll go to collections and then they'll go to the set-off. And um, it's true procedure. Does that sound okay? How many bills do they get sent out then? Do they get three bills in before the 90 yes. days? Yes. Yes, we wouldn't turn it over to collections until they paid nothing on it. And that's another thing that I want to ask you about. Our payment's $10. That, that's, in my opinion, that is way too low. And people would pay for 100 years or $10. dollars <coughs> they, They'll die before they before they get anything paid off. And, and some might even uh, be able to pay it, but it just, I keep my money in the bank and pay $10. Can you, can you put a minimum or a minimum payment requirement? I think you can. You can. Or is there's it $50? Uh, there's $50. And there, there were some smaller amounts that were in place before some of us changed positions over there, and so we've kind of left those alone. But going forward, it's it's been fifty dollars, and, and I don't know if you want to go fifty, but I think ten is too low. Yeah. See anything wrong with fifty? No. I wonder if we shouldn't leave alone the ones that are paying. We have some paying ten. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we could do just like like Todd's done. Yeah, if, if, if you're in the system, and you know, then the rule was different when you start when you initiated your bill, and we won't change it for you. Yeah. But anybody knew from here on out, it's 50. They could do 25, right. 30. And they sometimes they will contact them again and and ask them, you know, can you pay a little bit more this time? And some of them do. Yeah. You know, I have a little more hope for the ones that are trying though. Okay. Yeah. Ones that don't try it, really know. Right. What's your, what's your policies when one, once they pay them and they quit paying? Same thing. Three three statements and turn them over. Uh, you know, we even need a system they they can't go on off on off on off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> one off. Yeah. But I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I could see where some people would probably they know this get pretty clear. Yeah, I think they might. That's why paid. that's why I question the three statement bill even after they've started pay, a payment plan. I mean, to me, if you miss one year, we gave you a chance. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. yeah. Do they sign a contract with the payroll? Yeah. 
and maybe even three, maybe even three, three months of non-payment. Maybe that would be a change. Three months of non-payment. Yeah, you've already had a chance. I mean, if you've started a payment plan, that's to revise that's starting a contract right. of a payment contract. That's an agreement. Yeah. And that's our so agreement. You think, you think and if you stipulate from that, the three statements, and then, it, it, but then in the future, anything, uh, or or any, actually, once you stop paying, it gets turned over. Yeah. yeah. Once you start paying, you know it's there. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, so once you stop paying in any month, unless there's a valid reason, we'll, we'll get with them before we turn over collections, but unless there's a valid reason for that not receiving the payment, we'll turn it over collections. I don't think 50 is too high either. You look at some of these that are $1,400, yeah, yeah. you're going to be collecting for a long time, even at 50. Even a year, you didn't pop. But I think 50 would be all right. Okay. Uh, what is your EMS assistant chief definition? That's Okay. Do you have Did I say chief? I need to change that. I need to be assistant. Oh. I don't know why I could chief. It's been part of this. That's assistant director. Do people right now that are in the ambulance, do you have the patient or somebody with them sign something? An authorization to bill. Okay. So that's not really new then? No. No, they, they, we have to get a signature from them. To, and even if we don't, if our tax don't get it because the patient uh, wasn't able to sign and there was no relative, then we have to mail it out to them. We, we have to have authorization to mail it if they have interest. Um, is that policy? Fine. Okay. Um, then, then back to the, the uncollectibles. The, the old ones. The, these are basically that 85,000. That's basically the ones that we've never had a, a collection agency. Would never, you know, what's what's Misty kind of uh, share what the idea of when they go and get set up? Um, after they've gone through ARSI, it take a year. No, 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 before up until this point. How, how are they getting into Kansas set up? Turn some over. Yeah, we're some. So we really didn't have a policy of how to do that. Yeah. So it's you know um, it, it it just we needed this here. We needed a system where we can generate it. It either gets collected or it gets turned over to collection agency, and then it finally goes over to the set off program. And if by some chance they get a tax refund, then we'll get some of it. They don't, and they're in ten buck two. Like we have, have all these eighty-five thousand been turned over to the set-off program? Right I, I think after five years you can't do that. That's that's the, that's the thing. It's it, it's medical billing rule yeah, law that been say been. It, it should have been done. Is that was? I mean, that's a pretty good way of collecting, really. Yeah. They're not going to get any tax Plus, it's a it, it's, at least it's a chance. Yeah. It's at least a chance. Pretty good chance if they get any money back. Do, I guess what bothers me is to write off that eighty-five thousand, and you you said so yourself. You're not sure how accurate your. We know those are five years old. We, we know they're five years. You're old. confident of the eighty-five thousand? Absolutely. And who they are? They're, for your records. We we know that. Um, I I asked Julie. I said, Julie, Julie, tell me. We got at least have an estimate of how much how much time it would take to, to go through and find those. And they're extremely difficult to research. She said probably to do those a ballpark the county did take her close to a deck on here. And around thirty two thousand dollars. To find out why those those all those accounts that add up to that eighty five thousand weren't collected. There are different reasons. Um, but you're confident enough in knowing that if we approved it right off those eighty-five thousand, you'd know exactly where that went to. I mean, whose account and all that. We, we would know which account, yeah, okay. which account it was, but we wouldn't know exactly why they why they weren't uh, paid. Uh, whether they didn't pay, about that. I just want to be we had wrong. I want to wrong. be accurate with who we're right now. Yes, and and eventually they, you know, and, and all for the future they'll they'll go right over to collections. They'll go right over to that. And, and there'll never be another file that never be it. Well, what you've done is 
you'd be doing today would be saying that from here on out that they're going to go into a set-off program if we can't get them collected through a collection agency. And there'll, there'll be a, a, a sizable amount that will go in there. Uh, at least probably that big. That might be your collection agency. It'll reduce that a little bit. Hopefully it'll reduce it a little bit, and by getting them all in this one last category, we'll, we'll have another little small collection that, uh, that we'll read. Do we really want to, do we want to approve the policy until after you meet with them, though? Make sure that that's who you want to go with, the collection agency? Uh, I don't think I defined exactly who it is, though, Karen. Okay, okay, just any collection. Yeah, after one year, any county collection agency. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not defining who that is. Okay. Why do we have to write a policy to, I, I consider this general management. Well, I, you know, I, I think that I mean, uh, I, I'm not going to be here forever. And well, so I know, when but the I mean, person, the next guy that takes your job will, that, <laughs> I mean, it, it ought to be passed on, but, but I'm kind of a policy guy. I mean, it, and when somebody doesn't follow the policy, then I say, did you read the policy? The, the daggone things were supposed to be sent out in 90 days. The daggone things were supposed to be sent to that collection agency after, and, and, and they're not. Well, I mean, Why don't you follow the policy? That, that should be the expectation of a manager of a department of, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm going to be in hot water from higher ups if you're not doing your job by get, taking care of this. I mean, but, I don't, but I, what, I'm not a policy guy. I, I mean, I'm a hands on manager guy, and if you're not doing your job, I don't want to stack of policies that have to review, you know, for an employee that's not doing their job. If you're not doing your job, we know you're not doing your job. And, and this management is just part of, of the job, I guess. I mean, you know, I, I I guess I've worked in the governmental world, which is which is much different, and they have uh, some pretty strong uh, employment rights, and, and 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 they hire lodgers, and they get you before the lawyer and before the judge, and they say, this person didn't understand that. Where's your policy? I'd like to see your policy. And and, and, and I've seen people that write like 10 page policies and, and I agree with you completely. That's ridiculous. But I keep them short and simple and to the point. And, and it's the same way I write medical policies. Is if, if it says that, that, that you start oxygen and you give atropine and you give epinephrine, and the patient fit into that category, then by God, you should give atropine and dopamine, and, and I don't want to hear no questions about it. That's our, that's our protocol, that's our policy, and uh, because you read it in Jim's magazine that it was a little bit different, I don't care. This is the way we do it in Stafford County. And so it, it makes it really easy to, uh, uh, when people fail to follow the directions that have been set forth, and, and, and it's a clear reminder to, to uh, and, and a clear pathway to, to, to all the future folks that step in is here's your, here's your small policy book. And if you want to look at how we do medical building, then turn over to that page. And it's a very simple step-by-step -step fashion that um, you, you collect that. So I, I bring an EMP in and I say, come on, Tom. I said, you know, you know that you need to collect the signatures, and you know that you need to get the billing information, and you're not doing it. And and, and either we either we correct the behavior, or, or we're going to have to train this. Just because you have the policy doesn't mean you're, you don't still need to stay with your employees and have them make sure they get things done. It, it's just a reminder. It, it is a, gives you a leg to stand. I mean, we have job descriptions too that we're not fulfilling. Yeah. I mean, for that matter, and, it, and that's basically a policy. I mean. You can make, you can write all the policies you want and job descriptions and, and detail as much as you want, but if you're not going to follow and enforce them, what good are they? But that's the idea that we that we do follow them, and then it, then even like future future like there'll be different people sitting in these seats, and you, you'll be entitled to having all these so you can look at them and see what the you know when you're sitting in that a different person sitting in that seat, they want to know I want to know show me the the methodology and the uh, medical building procedure. I want to see it. I want to, and then you say, well, you know, it's pretty clear. Well, why are these, why are you coming to me with, the, with a bunch of, bunch of bills that should have gone 
should have gone right over here to the setup program. So it, it, it provides a, a historical uh, operational snapshot to all future folks. I think policy is good, but you, 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 you still need to stay on top of it. Make sure Absolutely. the policy is being fulfilled. Plus, like our employees handle you know, it. It's written. We follow it. If you don't, then... Well, I know, but I mean, we have employees that aren't following That doesn't even make like, you stand It's just like the, the, the sign deal in the zoning book. If we're not going to follow up, what gets is it? You're right. I mean... Well, it ensures, it ensures, it, it, a policy, a policy is, is, it can be your, your, even as a manager, it can be your enemy or your friend. It, if you don't operate correctly, it'll be your enemy. <laughs> and it's, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's always something that the auditors always ask. If you have a policy and procedure, I'm fine. I know. Be on the school board for a while. Well, I know. I can see where ours is really small. I mean, ours is really small. And I mean, and just. We're putting on a band-aid on a, ours, ours on a major is, wound. <laughs> no, it, it, it actually, ours is really small, and it's on, it's, it's not only small, it's on Dropbox. It's available to every single one of our employees. It's on the internet. Um, but it's available. They, they can see it. They, we reviewed it at our station meetings, and they said, if you want to go look at it again, that's where it's at. If you need a reminder, that's where it's at. Okay, are you going to redo this or we just strike the chief? I, I can just make that director. Assistant director. Which, which is correct. And I can change that and bring it back next week. And, and that's what the, uh, the collection agency has to question. Yeah. That 90 days, the person's contract. Uh, pardon? That 90 days deal versus contract? That you guys were discussing here? And then the fact that once they start paying on their bills, yeah. they can't yeah. do a contract. Yeah. 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 Once they start paying on their bills. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll read you that. $50. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. You go ahead and just put that in here. The minimum of $50 payments. I would, I would, I would, I would, from, yeah. from this point on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I, I guess the only other thing is uh, to ask for the authorization to for the, um, what is that, the 85,000, uh, 85, where did that come from? Yes. I would move the fleet right off the EMS overdue bills, 85,841, 65 cents, so they're over five years to 13 years. Second that. Okay, it's been moved in the second. We write off $85,841.65. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. The motion carried. And needed, if you could put in that your notes, at, at least I, I could ask this request that, uh, for the citizens that, that somehow be worded that that's old, uncollectible debt. I don't think that's part of you guys to. Yeah, look oh, like we're, we're losing eighty five thousand dollars. I would put the it years in bold. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Put the years in there. <laughs> yes. Or the age it's in there. Bold it's age five yeah. reports from yeah. something something month nineteen ninety eight to uh, yeah. it's listed yeah. on that bill. Eight sixteen nineteen ninety five. Twelve thirty one two thousand and eight. In back a, uh, res the resolution on the emergency operations plan. There's really nothing that I've done differently with that. It's just that you have to, uh, they sent out a map that showed a, a few that didn't have a, uh, an adopted one by resolution. And we were highlighted on that. And so, okay, we'll have a resolution. And so that's basically all I'm doing is, uh, would you like a copy of the emergency operations plan? It's just a bunch of, if, if you think, if you think that my little policy was bad, <laughs> It's uh, it's more like that. <laughs>
And it's just a bunch of rhetoric that is, is what they require by the state of Kansas. But we did it, and that's what they want. And as long as we want to get their emergency management performance grant funds, that's what we have to do. So I, I will get the correct uh, KSA number next time. Okay. Executive session with non elected personnel for 15 minutes and by three commissioners and Lisa Weber. Second. Tim, it's been noted and seconded we're going to the executive session for non elected mm -hmm. for 10, 10 minutes. 10? Yeah, 15. 15. 15. 15. We 15, come out 15. early. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carry. Fifteen. What do you got? I'd like to discuss my salary with you guys. Yeah. When I talked to you guys a couple weeks ago, I said two weeks, so I was wondering if you have questions for me, what you're thinking. My only concern is is county pay and, and, and state and is, is what the the uh, what was their names Austin they included that so uh, I don't think we can segregate uh, the county salary and, and what you get from the state I think that all should be considered as as one I mean that's what you put in the bank. Right. That's what I what? That's what you put in the bank on your on your monthly salary. What you get from the state and what you get from the county. Uh -huh. And I and you say that it should be separate. You should get an increase more in the county salary. And I feel that it should be both of those should be included in uh, your your compensation. Because it could go up. Right? If you didn't know yeah, or it could go down. I mean, yeah. like if well, I, either one. Yeah. you know, it's if IRP doesn't work out and I choose to quit doing IRP, you know, it, it can go down. So um, I think with the IRP last year, I think it made an $800 difference was all. So, and for the amount of volume of extra work, that's not enough pay. Um, but it is a little bit of something to help with the extra work. But um, I, I did tell Shane, um, I talked to Barber County, I was talking to her about that, that fee thing, and um, so I asked her about how their wage setup is, and she makes 47, and she's a comparable county, she's one of those that's, they're a high oil and gas county just like us. And um, all the elected officials make the same amount in Barber County. And then the clerk and the treasurer get the same amount. Whatever the treasurer gets for motor vehicle compensation, the clerk gets for elected uh, election payroll. So the treasurer and the clerk make more than the appraiser and all the other elected officials in Barber County. So it is, a, and that is what it was set up for. The legislature came and said, we want to give extra compensation to the treasurers for doing motor vehicle. And if you read the statutes, that that's how the legislators set, 
legislature set it up is for extra compensation for handling the motor vehicle. It had nothing to do with the regular um, county statutory obligations that I have to do, like receiving money, tax distributions, um, quarterlies, you know, all my other statutory obligations. It had nothing to do with that part. So it, it was intended for extra compensation. But the fees will be extra compensation, right? The motor vehicle fees, they are extra right. compensation. Over and above your county salary. Right. Yeah. But that's got to 15000 Yes. Right. right. And um, in Barber County, all the elected officials make 47000 and I thought that was kind of, that's basically what I'm asking for, is for my county salary to be 47000 And then she gets her motor vehicle compensation on top of that, which I figure hers and mine are probably about the same because we have about the same population. But there's a lot of other counties that are worse, too. Yeah. You, I mean, it's all I, over the place. Yeah. It is. It is. But I, I just, I talked to her on the phone, so I just wanted to bring that to your attention. I thought, well, that kind of, you know, supports a lot of what I've been saying. And you can do it either way. You know, um, like, Nina doesn't get the election salary. She just gets all... And, and when that changed, I don't know, because it did not used to be that way. The clerk used to get an election salary. Somehow, I don't know. I think it's when the election budget, per se, went away, and it all got put into the clerk's budget. Because there used to be a separate budget for just elections. Uh, that's what, what I would imagine. I haven't looked back. And, uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I, I don't, it's what I, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Because your salary <coughs> hasn't increased, but yet it's been absorbed. So I, I don't know how that's changed. Well, ever since the newspaper came out, I've had an outcry of, phone calls, people showing up to talk to me about about this issue. And I, I see both sides of the, of the fence. And the general consensus of the, of the people that's come to see me is that you were just reelected, and as an elected official in the election, everybody knew their salary going to, what their pay was going to be going into it. I mean, I've, I've had a lot of people I was re I've been really surprised at the number of people that's come to see me. I mean, it's, it's really got a lot of attention in the, in the, in the county. And, I mean, they, they, their feelings are that if it was towards the, the, the your term was towards the end, they could, they could see re negotiations or changing the salary. But where we're just at the beginning, they're, they're, they're not really in favor of, any increase at all. Um, so I guess, uh, I mean, I'm caught between a rock and a hard spot. I mean, I see, personally, I see your, some of your points. Um, but sitting over here from the response I've got, uh, <laughs> I don't, I mean, I, I, I don't think I can do anything at this point. I mean, because they, they're, they're, there's a lot of people up in arms about this, about this, this issue. I mean, it's really got a lot of attention. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's my my input I mean, about the, about it. I, I, I would say, what Shane just said, I would like to equalize it a little bit, but I just don't know if this is the right time. It would look a lot better for everybody if it was in a period right before a primary. And what helped my feelings with that, Lisa, was I had need to print off your pay from uh, it was a lot of years, from 2006 actually. And I mean, every year it, it increases, but that's with your motor vehicle compensation included. I mean, and you know, it goes from 42,000 from 06, and in 2012 you were at 48,393. 34. I mean, that's, 
but that is an increase, an annual increase of, of, of a little bit, but that is from your motor vehicle compensation. I, I understand that, but I mean, even from the, the survey that this company did, I mean, they take even the counties that they did the survey with, they still included that in the, in the total salary. Well, I have addressed these issues in the past, mm -hmm. so uh, it isn't like I haven't brought it up before other elections and stuff, you know, in response to that. And, and Clay can mm -hmm. verify that. <coughs> you can talk to the previous commissioners well, if you like. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, I mean it, it has, it has, it has been. been brought up, yeah. yeah. And I just feel for um, comparable work, I mean, everybody should get comparable pay. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't, um, and yes, I understand about that, but I, I am serving the public, and I do enjoy my work, and, and I want to do a good job for the public, but I don't think the public can fault me either for trying to level up the playing field a little bit. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, <it's laughs> I, I, I understand your point. Yeah. I, I see that too. I, I'm not I'm not arguing that, but I don't think we should hold back people. I've been a leader. I've taken on more responsibilities in my office. I've taken on this IRP. I mean, I've I've been um, and uh, I've taken things on, and yeah, you know, I think that speaks volumes too. To try because I've been trying to make money for this right. county too as a revenue. And even though IRP, I think it's kind of, we're breaking even. We made, what, an additional $10,000. It's a lot of work. And I think for the salary we're paying, we're, maybe we're breaking even. But I always drove it home that it's an economic. That these people are coming to town. They're going out to short stop and filling up their vehicles. They're eating lunches. And I'm bringing these people here. And last year, we waited on over 300 IRP customers. So that's 300 people that we had coming in. And you guys know what it was like after yeah. the first year. Yeah. So I mean, I, I always kind of argue, you know, I'm trying to do something for the county, and then that's a benefit. So um, I haven't shied away from taking on more work. I, I think I've shown I'm um, uh, progressive. And on the other side of that, you know, We've, we've allowed you to hire a part-time employee to help you with that and hopefully take on more so this number will increase for you too. I mean, on the flip side of that, I mean, I, I'm not trying to dig stuff up. I'm just stuff that I've thought of throughout this two-week <laughs> span of, of, of what to do with this, you know. And I, I think with, with transaction growth or motor vehicle growth in your office, that will hopefully pick up some increase for you to to help us until we can get to the third year or something to, to maybe relook at the salary to make a drastic move like like what you what you asked us for. But I mean right now I I mean <laughs> for for the for the for the, for the Visits I got the phone calls I got, I, I don't feel I can do any. Well, and the other thing, too, is we're going to have to look at what all the budgets are like. Yeah. You know, because it is taxpayers' money. And it's, it's one of the things that was brought to my attention. You know, no wonder the taxes are high. You know, you want to get raises to everybody. So, you know, it's, it's a tough call. And it's something that um, after we get all the budgets, I mean, we're going to have to look at it. And I don't think it's, uh, and, I, and I don't feel that we can make a, make a, uh, a call right now. Because one, first of all, are we going to have the money to give the raises? Are we going to do, you know, even the cost of it? So, <clears throat> I think we're a little premature right now of looking at increasing your salary. So, so
so what is what is your plan or I mean have you what what's I mean you want me to wait till after budget are you thinking steps or I mean where, where do we start I'll vote the amount <laughs> I'll say I would like to learn the process first I mean because I mean, we're, I'm still at the learning phases of the budget process and, and the salary stuff and all the, you know, trying to get it all figured out and put together. Well, well you know, and it's, it, when my motor vehicle compensation and my county, county salary does not even match the clerk's or the appraiser's salary, that, that's uneven. And I do just as much responsibility, if not more. So, I mean, I want you guys to recognize my hard work that I do and, and recognize that there's an off balance here. I, I don't disagree with that, but I think, and this might sound kind of strange, but it might be to your benefit hearing the phone calls we got not to do. Yeah. That was if, if you want halfway peaceful treasurer's office. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I'm serious about that. It might be to your benefit as well. I mean, I've been on boards forever, and I've never been deluged with phone calls like I have been in the last two weeks. I'm, I'm the same way. I mean, I've 100 plus phone calls. And that's just the, the people that I got myself on. I mean, that's and, 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 I might, and I agree with you that it might not be fair, but I guess my eyes have been opened as to the feelings of the taxpayers, and we do represent the taxpayers. And there, there's some real strong feelings about it. Yeah, that, that, I'm, I'm sure there is. And I don't think it'd be so bad if there was an election coming up, and I mean, we couldn't do anything before the election, so. Well, yeah, and, and you two are, are new coming in, but, but Clay has been, um, Put that water under the bridge now. Right. We just have to look ahead, and I would be much more receptive to it because honestly, you could you can always come back and say there's a primary ahead. If you don't like the commissioner, you get rid of us. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or if you don't like the treasurer, the county clerk, you can get rid of them. It would. I'm just saying. Believe me, it would be a lot better if we wait. We're going to open up a real can of worms here. And I know that doesn't seem fair, and I, and I don't necessarily think that's fair either, but I think it's the right thing to do. Well, I think that's so you're just flat, is this just a flat no today, or is this um, look at budget and we'll put it into your budget? I mean, I need to know what, what you We're going to look at. We can't, we can't say right now. Is, is there, okay, so when could you guys? That just have to be in the Topeka by July. What? By when? Our budget has to be done by August 25th. By August 25th. That's the drop dead. And our first cut to the auditor will be in two weeks? Hopefully, we'll have it ready to go in two weeks. You want to look at it? So, you want me to submit? Um, how much would you like for me to submit in my budget? I don't know. I don't know. But again, from the Tokens point of view, I wouldn't. I don't say it. I would, if I had to go for two years and, and I, with the general consensus of the, of the communications I've had in the last two weeks, I would say maybe year three of, the, of our term. We all got to live in the community, even <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I'm not out 
dollars is. Um, It's not a whole I, I threw, I even threw this figure to some people in, in our conversations. I said, well, what if we just gave her, tried to do that $8,500 in, in growth? You know, let's do $2,500 or yeah. 2000 a year. They were, yeah, something. They were even, yeah, yeah, something. They were even opposed to that. And the more you explain to the way your salary is figured, and this, comp this motor vehicle compensation deal, when they hear that, I mean, the, the general public is outraged by that. And and I think we would stand on better, ground, better grounds of getting you, you raised to a level playing field with everybody else if this wasn't a figure. I mean, if we didn't have to consider that, I mean, if that wasn't even in the in the realm of things. And people don't really understand that totally. Right. Or not at all. Not totally, but... And maybe, I mean, maybe it's something we look at I'm just throwing this idea out there. Um, if we share this amongst your office, and yet, then we can raise you up. I mean, that that was even brought up by several people. Well, what, share what amongst my well, office? Well, if why did why do why does the treasurer get this this motor vehicle compensation? Why isn't that split up amongst the people that's, that's actually? That's the statute. You can't. You can't split that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't. That's the statute. Okay. That's that's the way it's set up. Okay. I didn't realize that. Yeah. The the legislature set that this up specifically for a treasure to get extra compensation so, for managing for being a state agent for managing the motor vehicle. Plus the county benefits money off of that too. I get what. 50 cents per transaction, whatever it is, the county's getting um, 2.25. So, I mean, uh -huh. did the people realize this that the county is getting reimbursed for, you know, I transferred over $33,000 to county general budget. So, the, um, you know, the, the county is benefiting from it. So. But yeah, that, that I, um, I used to think that too when I first started here. Mm -hmm. But that's not the way so. <laughs> the legislature set it up, and you can't deviate from the from statute. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, I, I guess I would like to know why you don't think with my motor vehicle and with my county, regardless of what the people have told you, what, you know, why why can't you guys recognize that? Uh, I do. I, do I mean, if this was if this was my business, you have a well, your case is very valid, but it's not. <laughs> I mean, you have a very valid point in, in what you're trying to do, but <clears throat> but it's not. It's not my. I mean, it's not my money. I mean, the people are. Okay.